welcome to my channel or welcome back. This is Amy in AZVSG. So this is my week three post-op and we actually took a trip to San Diego. So this uh, video will be just a little bit different. It's not me vlogging. It's just all of the photos that I took while we were gone on vacation and the food that I ate while we were there. So I will just narrate the photos for you. Thanks for watching. So this is the view from the balcony at our hotel. We stayed at the Surfer Beach Hotel. It's right on the ocean at Pacific Beach in San Diego. Um, this is the little lifeguard shack that you could see from our hotel room. You can see it's a nice bright sunny day. So we walked along the little boardwalk. This is what I had for lunch. They're little street tacos. One was fish, one was shrimp. Um, I think the fish on this one had some breading on it. And then the shrimp had some taco seasoning aioli stuff on it. This is what my husband got. He got two carne asada and one fish. And then he ended up eating... The rest of mine because I think I was able to eat like two shrimp and one bite of fish. This is another view from the balcony from our room. Just a nice really pretty view of the roof of the restaurant in front of us and then of the beach and the palm trees. You can see some little sailboats out on the water. It was a really beautiful day when we got there. So nice to see the ocean again, especially after being cooped up inside after having surgery. This was me on the beach, super excited to be there. And my best friend, Ladina, her and her husband, Bert, went with me and my husband. So we walked along the beach, uh, tons of steps we got in the whole time that we were there. This is on the Crystal Pier that's down just a little ways from our hotel. You can see I'm carrying my water bottle with me, trying to stay hydrated while I'm there. I did not want to get dehydrated and end up in the hospital in a different state. Um, just some people fishing off the pier here. It was so beautiful. There's actually a hotel, uh, almost like a little motel, that has little, uh, they're like little separate rooms are little separate cottages that are out on the pier so the water actually goes underneath your hotel room which is super cool we've always wanted to stay there but every time we check they're completely booked so this is just the view from the end of the pier and then we kept walking down the boardwalk so this is like several steps past the pier that we were just out on and i thought it was just a beautiful spring day especially for February. It was nice and warm. Everything was blooming. It was just gorgeous outside. Everything was beautiful and green while we were there and blooming. It looked like a beautiful spring day. Um, while we were walking along, we found this rock in a tree, and on the back of it, it had a Facebook page, and we uh, looked up the Facebook page after we got back to our room, and they actually hide rocks all over the place, and when you find them, you take a picture with it, and you go on their website on Facebook and post a picture of the day and time that you found it, and then you put it back where you found it. So this is the tree that I found it in. Luckily, it was painted bright fluorescent colors. Otherwise, I would have never seen it. My hubby rented one of the lime scooters while we were there. We were looking for a seafood restaurant to eat at, so he rented one of the scooters and kind of went and scouted ahead of us because we had already walked several miles trying to find a seafood restaurant. So we ended up going to one in La Jolla 
called the fish shop i believe is what it's called they have really good seafood there it's kind of like a fast food seafood place but they have really good food we had crab cakes the fish shop is actually at pacific beach i inserted a picture of my hubby's t-shirt that he has from there from the last time that we went um, this is my steps for the day. I was super excited when I saw this insane amount of steps, especially three weeks after surgery. I was just amazed at how great I felt, how far I could walk. Um, felt so much better already after three weeks. It was just amazing. And then these are just a couple photos at night from the view from our room. Just so pretty, so amazing and awesome to sit there and listen to the waves come in. Next morning, it was a little bit overcast while we were there. Um, California on the coast tends to be like this, especially um, San Francisco. San Diego is a little bit like this and it usually burns off by like 10 11 in the morning and it's bright and sunny and beautiful i only remember one trip going to san diego where it actually rained the entire time that we were there this was our breakfast the next morning i had uh, eggs benedict with crab cakes and then the hubby had his nice healthy breakfast of oatmeal and fruit and uh, orange juice. So I had, I think one of the crab cakes, I took a picture of it when I was done, you know, a couple bites of the other one. I think hubby had some bites of the crab cake. I tried a bite of the eggs and maybe one of the potatoes, tiny bit of hollandaise sauce. I was scared to death to try the bread, so I did not try the bread at all. This is one Sorry, of my I'm favorite pictures that I took with while my we were there on this video. You can see the little so you see, baby's see flipper San Diego prints in the sand as he's going um, over to snuggle with his mommy. Or also it was so some cute. naval ships that come in and out every once in a while. That you can and walk out there on to go see the little seals out on the rocks. So everyone's such a cool experience. We had never actually been to Little Hawaii before, so this was our first trip there. This is where driving Burton Latina I had been before. So they were little sailboats lined up, where to go in San Diego in the background there. Where to walk out to go see them and things like that some more There's some views of them of the up on the rocks skyline. so cool to watch them and just sit there and listen to the waves and we stopped for lunch in la jolla before we headed back and went to Doing a little views of the surf San Diego shop skyline um so burke could pick up a souvenir shirt and then i thought this was like super cool this was in the back room of the and surf shop. i thought this was a cool view looking back at the bridge so you can kind of see how elevated it is so this is the bridge that we just drove over that connects san diego and coronado island this is where we had lunch and my husband and I have actually eaten at this particular restaurant at their location in Imperial Beach as well. And Imperial Beach is where we got married at. Um, I had the crab cake from the appetizer menu. So this is what it looked like. And then my husband had a shrimp salad. And then Bert and Ladina, I think, had crab salads. The salads looked beautiful. Um, I was kind of scared to try anything that uh, <laughs> uh, fibrous <laughs> at this point. So I, I did have some of the cabbage slaw stuff that was underneath the crab cake, and I did fine with that. Then we walked across the street to uh, Coronado Island, the Hotel Del Coronado. Um, you can see probably seen pictures of it it's the big white hotel with the orange uh, Spanish tile roof on it a uh, very old hotel very classic beautiful uh, 
hotel there on Coronado Island. So this is uh, us walking along the beach there. So that's what we did the second day that we were there is went to Coronado Island and walked along the beach. So again, tons and tons <laughs> more of walking. Latina and I walked along the sand and collected uh, seashells. You can see the Hotel Del Coronado in that last picture behind me. Uh, the bright orange Spanish tiles always give it away. So this is me just holding up some of my finds and showing them to hubby. And then this is him. We're walking back towards the hotel. Such a beautiful hotel. This is definitely on my bucket list of places that I want to go and do and stay. Um, it's super expensive to stay at the Hotel Del Coronado. So that is on the bucket list. And hubby knows that. So hopefully one of these days, like for our anniversary or something, we'll go stay there for the weekend. And they have really cool... Uh, landscaping everywhere. This is like the decorative cabbage. They had lots of that planted. And then uh, really cool hot pink flowers. I don't have any clue what these were, but I just thought they were so beautiful. And then this is me and hubby standing in front of the hotel sign. This is hubby driving us back across the bridge so out the front window you can kind of see the the bridge going back over to san diego and a few more views on the drive back over and then back at our room at the surfer beach hotel Another day of tons and tons of walking. I don't think I took a picture of my steps for this day. Hubby and I out on the balcony. I was so excited. This sweatshirt I think was like a size two from Torrid and I normally wear a size three. So I was like super excited that I could actually fit into it already at week three. And then this is just views of the sunset that evening. And that's the Crystal Pier that we walked down to. We went to eat dinner. There's a few blocks down from where we we're staying at this is what I had it was like fish tacos and this really cool black bean and uh, corn side dish I wish I had the recipe for it it was fantastic I would make it at home um, this is the hubby's I think he had some kind of like steak salad or something with fries I'm not really sure what he had and it's hard to tell from the pictures because it was like red lighting if where we were sitting so I had like probably half of the little piece of fish from each taco and more pictures of the beach at night it's just so pretty there and this is the next morning this is the morning that we were heading home it wasn't quite as overcast this day it was a little bit colder this day but it was still beautiful and nice and so pretty out. So this one, we went down to the little breakfast bar thing that's down just a couple uh, more spots down from where our hotel is. I can't remember what it's called, but a very popular spot in Pacific Beach because you can actually sit and watch everybody walk along the boardwalk great breakfast lots of food um obviously i couldn't eat it but this mine was the one with the avocado on it so i ate the avocado and i had some bites of egg and like a couple bites of the pico de gallo and a couple bites of bacon and i was done this little is ladina's favorite guy he walked along the beach every day and had this big hat with all kinds of fake flowers on it. She just loved him. 
And then this is going to La Jolla. We decided to stop in La Jolla and see if we could see the seals before we went home. Beautiful views of the water, pretty flowers, blooming, um, gorgeous day. Like I said, it was a little bit colder, but not too bad. So this is where you go to watch the seals in La Jolla. I want to say it's called Seal Point, something like that. And you can see them all down on the beach there. They're a little bit small from this view, but here's a mama and her baby. So cute. There was a bunch of little mamas and babies, and I got a video coming up here, so I'm going to let that play. This was one of my favorite photos from the trip. You can see the little flipper prints from the little baby as he scoots over to nuzzle with his mama. So cute. And this is just a couple of pictures of me and the hubby out on the little pier that you can walk out on to go see all the sea lions on the rocks as they sit out there. So cool. A little chilly, a little windy that day, but still not bad and so nice to be out of the house and recovering and feeling better and just being outside and in nature was just awesome. So we stopped and we had uh, lunch in La Jolla before we headed home and we went to a couple little gift shops and then we stopped at a surf shop so that Bert could get a souvenir t-shirt and this was in their back room where they had all their surfboards for sale. I thought this was just super cool. So anyway, thanks so much for stopping by. I apologize that the audio was awful on this one. I had such issues with my program trying to get this done and it was vacation over and time to head home. But I just want to thank you all so much for stopping by my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love all of you. Love your comments. And I will talk to you soon in the next one. Bye.